Good day dear chess lovers and welcome to another Chess in the Wilderness episode. Today I went for hiking, this was a solo hike from uh, Stone Lake, Cory Lake up to Montage Waterfall in order to film a hiking video for my second channel Armenian Explorer. I think that I shot a really nice video, the link I will pin in the comment section, check it out please. Also you can see that I took my chess set with me and now I will share with you a chess puzzle. The following chess puzzle was composed by my compatriot Henrik Kasparian and was first published almost a century ago in 1929. The task is to win with the white pieces. You can pause the video and try to find the solution. So we have a messed up position, a complex position, but with a very cunning, ingenious strategy, White is managing to win. Yeah, White has an extra piece, but realizing it, it's not that easy, and now, t and now you can take a look how the solution goes. First, White is playing knight d1, and now White is threatening knight c3 check, followed by, for example, rook takes a3, that's why, yes, black should accept the rook sacrifice. King takes a4 is not good because of knight c3 checkmate. That's why black is accepting the rook sacrifice by capturing with the rook. And there comes knight c3 check. King b4. Uh, by stepping on b4 square, black king is still protecting the rook. And there comes uh, king d4. Now, black has two moves, d6 or b5. If d6, then you can win the rook on a4, and then play king c4, and then uh, after b5, b4, b3, uh, you are then capturing on b3 with the a pawn, and you are announcing a checkmate. Uh, black stops resistance starts with uh, b5, and now in this case already, yes, uh, winning on a4 is not good because black can capture with the pawn and then in that case black can fight back. That's why we are playing uh, knight e4, another highly effective waiting move. And now the only move black can make is d6, right? And there comes another brilliant move, knight c5. First we sacrifice the rook and now it's time for a knight and black is forced to accept it. Pawn takes c5 check, king d3. c4 check, king d4, c3. Yeah, black is in Tsukzavang, black should make that move. And after d takes c3, we see a checkmate on the board. Truly a spectacular chess puzzle, right guys? Once again, with this puzzle, Kasparian proves how creative he was. Uh, in the end, let me also sharpen your tactical skills. Please take a look at the position and try to find the winning line for white. Uh, as usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. If you liked this video, feel free to share with your friends, leave your comments, and we'll see you in my next video. Take care.